On the night Brazil qualified for the 2018 World Cup thanks at a 3-0 win against Paraguay, their 28-year-old right back, Wagner Conservalemos, played his first competitive international match. The Corinthians man had come in for the suspended Dani Alves. It turned out to be quite a day to make your debut. A clean sheet, a handsome win and because of a happy coincidence of results elsewhere in South America, a party. Brazil were the first country to book their ticket to Russia. Wagner always knew he would be backup choice to the experienced, hugely decorated Elvis, and even when the Paris Saint-Germain Dynamo suffered a cruciate ligament injury just over a month before the World Cup started, Wagner sensed he was touch and go to make the squad of 23. Blank, read more, Richard Jolly, familiar foes Sweden set to be England's biggest test yet Marcus Berg interview, Sweden striker living in a World Cup bubble, Roberto Martinez, playing favourites, Brazil, a dream match, for Belgium, blank, so, evidently, did his loved ones. He posted a video online of the jubilant reaction of family and friends as they watched the official announcement of the squad on television, jumping for joy as his name was read out. Brazil lost another right back, Manchester City's Danilo, with a muscular injury after their opening fixture against Switzerland. Which was when Fogner's journey from remote outsider for a World Cup spot turned its corner. He has played every game since, from the start. There have been one or more moments when he showed some nerves, and you detect that the more experienced players around him make an extra effort to congratulate him for a sound block, a strong clearance. But he belongs. He could hardly have a better set of numbers to take into his confrontation with Eden as our on this evening, either. Brazil take on Belgium, highest scorers at the tournament so far, on the back of three successive clean sheets. Wagner has hopped on the train at just the right moment, he has played four competitive internationals now and never known what it is to concede a goal in a Brazil jersey. Switzerland's equaliser, in the tournament opener, when Danilo was at right back and the central defender Miranda complained he was pushed by the goal scorer, Steven Zuber just before the Swiss striker headed past goalkeeper Alison Becker, is the only stain on Brazil's pristine defensive record. When you come to think theirs is a backline much disrupted in terms of personnel over the last past few weeks, the achievement is all the more impressive. First there was the loss of Dani Alves. His admirers would argue that the absence of the former Barcelona and Juventus player cup not one, but two players from manager Tite's ideal starting eleven. There is Alves the right back and Alves the winger come midfielder, all in one buzzing bundle of hyperactivity. So much ground does Alves cover that he truly is a right back at half. Then Danilo needed his period of recuperation, opening the door to Fogner. Then Marcelo, such a galvanizer on the left, pulled up early with back spasms in the 2-0 win over Serbia that confirmed Brazil stride into the knockout phase. So Felipe Luis, the Atletico Madrid fullback, deputized for the Real Madrid one. They are not like for like, exactly, but rather in the way that Fogner is a more discreet, more conservative player than the electric Dani Alves. Brazil at left back had a very solid deputy for Marcelo, who may be fit for for Friday, even if Luis lacks some of Marcelo's attacking verve. In the center, Miranda and Thiago Silva have been commanding, and the return to senior first-team status, and to the captaincy, which tight rotates, for two of the four fixtures so far, but Silva is its own redemption tale. Earlier this year, the 33-year-old looked like he was down the hierarchy, behind his Paris Saint-Germain colleague, Marquinhos, and behind Inter Milan's Miranda. But in Russia, his goal against Serbia and his generalship of Brazil's defensive organization have helped confirm him as Tite's most trusted ally. Miranda and Silva, who were born 15 days apart, 33 Septembers ago, will partner one another for the 17th time against Belgium. They have led in just the one goal, Zubers, in their last 10 internationals in tandem. They will have Fernand Gino holding midfield in front of them, rather than Real Madrid's Casemiro, who is suspended, although the disruption, tight hopes, will be minimal. 
This is a team with a lot of options, said Miranda after the 2-0 win over Mexico that rewarded Brazil with a quarterfinal against Hazard's quick feet, Romelu Lukaku's strength and power, the precise delivery of Kevin De Bruyne and, perhaps later in the contest, some aerial battles with Mauro and Fellini. In this World Cup we have seen teams that are well organized defensively and very quick on the counter-attack. But we've held out very well, conceded very few goals and been defensively solid. And we have so many players further forward who can score goals.